Hello class, we are group number four and we are going to explain reading and outposts of progress by Joseph Conrad. This story is a sample of European imperialism. The story is about two European men named Cajers and Carlier who are assigned to a trading post in the Great Trading Company in a remote part of the African jungle. They came to Africa to participate in the ivory trade, hoping to the benefit the company and themselves financially, but without a specific job or important things to do in the company. They worked with a native named Henry Price, also known as Macola who knows all about the business and he was in charge of dealing with the company's workers. As time, as time goes by, Cajers and Carlier feel increasingly isolated and demoralized. Then Macola initiates an exchange of a slave for ivory. At first, Cajers and Carlier are stunned and shocked by the idea of selling the workers, but they eventually agree to the deal and help Macola make these benefits. But both men are plagued by illness and become physically weakened, which brings us to the climax of the story. At the moment, I'm seemingly tribal mother, sugar, triggers an irrational, uncontrolled and violent conflict between them, which ends tragically when Cajers accidentally shoots and kills Carlier. The story ends just as the company's team chef arrives at the station two months later that is shot when Cajers was found hung in a despair. So uh, this is an interesting story and we make an analysis. So Europeans trade goods and services with the purpose of exporting civilization from Europe to Africa. The reading is contextualized in the colonial era where European countries wanted to have the total control over Africa. The second one, it's considered that natives needed to be civilized and for that reason they went to Africa, while Carlier and Cajers felt uncomfortable in the jungle without the support of other Europeans with their uh, world view. There is not equality between races. Macola acts as foreman of other natives but he's not given equal treatment with other uh, white foremen. Uh, then the ivory workers live as enslaved employees in a miserable and sick situation. They, have, they haven't rights and they were sold as objects. Carlier and Cajers accept that Macola had sold that workers and they care more about the money and thin the ivory will make the manager happy. And this is a characterism of imperialism. And now, thank you class. See you, goodbye.